This lab asks you to measure the circumference of a balloon. Let's look at how. All right, to measure the circumference of the balloon, you're gonna use a string, because the ruler doesn't go around the balloon so well. We wanna put the string around the fattest part of the balloon so that we do it at the same place every time. That way we can make accurate comparisons. I have a knot tied in one end of the string, and I'm gonna measure up to that knot and then let go and I can measure the length of the string. Let's try that with a balloon that's a little less inflated. Notice you're gonna need help with this. You need at least two people, one person to hold the balloon and one person to measure around the balloon. So again, I'm gonna put this around the widest part. Notice we kind of had to fold the balloon a little bit in order to make it fair because it was not very full. Okay, so I measure to the knot, and then I can measure the length of the string. Now that I've measured around the balloon, I can take the string and lay it on the ruler. I wanna line up the knot with the zero point on the ruler, not with the end of the ruler, but with the zero. And then I'm going to measure up to the place that I marked with my finger. And right now I have exactly 10 centimeters of string. So that means the circumference of that second balloon was 10 centimeters. Each of these numbers is a centimeter. Each of the lines in between is one millimeter or 0.1 centimeters. So right here we have 10.1 centimeters. Right here we have 10.5 centimeters, 10.6, 10.7, 10.8, 10.9, and then 11.